Hi guys! Right now, um, we are on our second topic for our, um, for our discussion this week. Uh, we need to discuss this figure for you to visualize or for you to imagine um, what's the essence of using a form, a get, and also a post method in our PHP, um, in our web scripting um, discussion or subject. Okay? So first thing that we need to discuss, um, we need to discuss about the form. So I know that I already discussed form in, um, in our previous discussion, or uh, I also discussed form with input types um, in, your, um, in, uh, in your previous course or previous subject, right? So right now, we are using this one again because we are interacting um, our front end um, application or our front end program going to the back end. Diba? I said last time that the PHP is actually concerned about the back end or the server side of your um, of your application. Um, the, P uh, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript are actually on the front end the back end it's actually the php so right now we will be integrating those okay so i will show you some front end development and also the back end development so first thing that we need to discuss what is the form okay so forms are used to get input from the user and submit it to the web server per for processing just like with our previous um, discussion or last discussion, um, I use input type already. So if I will use an input type, of course, I need to use a form. Okay, we need to start with the form and end also with the form. I also use action, meaning the action here, this will serve as the location or the referencing of the button. For example, when I click this button, it will refer to what specific file? Take that one. The method here, this is our discussion. This, uh, this is our second part of our discussion. The method contains two parts or two types. We have post and we also have the get, okay? So in the login form itself, this is the front end, so F-E. I'll put here FE. Okay, this is the front end. The login form is our front end. Then after that, um, when the user inputted something, it will go check in the um, the get and the post. So after it will be validated, or it after it will um, after the form data submitted, um, it will be transferred to the server, and this is our actually our back end. Okay. So in our server part, which, which is the server, the PHP, which is actually here. So this is the part where it will check, um, it will authenticate the user. For example, um, you are creating a login form. So we need to check at the back end if the user who is trying to enter to our application, if it's registered or not yet okay other one we can add data to our database for example um, in the registration form if you will try to register something of course you are trying to save a data or you're trying to um, in insert a data in our database um, for now we will not talk more about that because it will be discussed in our fourth grading so okay so again this is the flow um, from the front end, going to the method, then lastly to the back end. Okay? So let's discuss right now what is a post method. So if we will talk about the post method, um, post method is secured method because it hides all information using post method and limited data sense. Aside from that, post method, it's lower method comparatively to get method. 
But normally, if you will use um, post method, um, post method are, this is usually the method used in login form or if you will try to, um, um, if you will hide your details, okay? So a good example of using a post method is when submitting login details to the server because basically it will hide your information from the um, from the web browser it will only save directly to the back end okay so it really depends on what scenario or what type of application you're trying to create but normally i'm using or i'm uh, I'm usually using um, post method. Okay. Okay. So let's go directly with our um, example. Uh, I'll be creating another file. So for this file, um, I'll be saving this one. Um, post. Okay. Uh, registration form dot php. And the other one. This is the other PHP file, so I'll be saving it as um, post that PHP. For example, oh no, I already have an example, something like that. So post example one that PHP. Okay, so the purpose of my registration form that PHP here. This is where I will input, or this is where I will um include all my front end part and say front end the html the css and the javascript the post ex1 this is where i will put my php okay so let's go start with creating our front end so one moment so here um i'll be putting head Closing the head, I'll be inserting title. So the title for this one, it's um, student registration form. Then title. After this one, I'll be putting my body. Okay, sorry. Inside my body. There. So inside my body, I will go ahead and include, oh sorry, an H1 first. For example, student registration form. Okay, in this one as well, aside from putting the, um, um, from, uh, aside from putting the title, I can also put the style so that I can insert my CSS code here. So for example, here, um, H1 should be, um, I'll put here, what should be the H1? Color blue. Okay, there. And text decoration should be underline. Okay. Let's see if this will work. Mm -hmm. local host registration form there you go it's working so after this one let's proceed and uh, let me try to create a table so that um you've noticed no i will show you first um the form action then of course this is the post ex1 so post ex1.php then the method that I'll be using is basically the post method. Okay, so after that, let me go ahead and put the first name. This is the label. So first name, I'll put here the input type, which is um, submit. Uh, sorry, this is not submit. This is text. Then after the text, I'll put the name. This is the variable name, so f name. You need to take note about that one guys then close it so i'll put the br so that i have a next line then i'll just copy and paste this one 
Okay, this is last name. I'll be changing the variable name to L name. Aside from that one, okay, I think this is it. So I'll be putting, I will be inserting the submit button. Then I'll put in here the value. Uh huh, submit. There you go. Or if you want, you can also insert, oh, sorry, or we can also insert cancel or the reset. And the value for this one is cancel. Okay, so after this one, don't forget that we need to close our form. Okay, let me arrange my codes first. Okay, let me check. Okay, there you go. So you've noticed that um, our, uh, here, uh, let me make it bigger. Okay, you've noticed that um, it's not fully arranged or it's not organized. So what should I do here? I will be creating a table. Okay, so I'll be using the TR, of course. Then after the TR, the TD, which for a while I'll be putting the form here above there you go closing the TD opening another TD hopefully you can still remember our discussion about um, tables because this will basically help you organize your um, what do you call this um, it will basically help you organize your your login form or for example your registration form okay let me double check if this will work there you go there so what happened to this one okay so I will be putting that one here since this is already um, arranged properly um, should be outside the table okay one moment let me see there you go okay so if you want to do something like this it's okay or if you want you can actually close the TR here and open another TR so if you will refresh it there okay you can also adjust the um, the text box by um, putting the length here, but it's really up to you. Okay, so, okay, there we go. So, since we're already done with our front end, let's go directly and proceed with our back end, which is the, um, let me go back to the form action, which is the post ex1.php. So let's go here. So we will now start by um, inserting our PHP code. So here, um, the purpose of this one is we need to um, call the value. Sorry, uh, we need to call the value. For example, echo. We need to display the value inputted by the user. So echo. Then, of course, we need to use the post. So the f name. Then, of course, lastly, the last name. There you go. Let's see. So if we will uh, refresh the page, I'll put here for then, then burn our this, and click submit. Here we go. So we're able to um, connect, or we're able to use the method post. You've noticed that um, there is no space so all we need to do with this one, uh, remove the echo, the last echo, then, um, of course, the dot, then this one, then dot. The dot will serve as our concatenation, so please take note about that one. And refresh the page again. There we go. Okay, so if you want, you can also include, um, you can also include, um, CSS part here where you will design your wait uh, 
huh? where you will design your registration form on the back end. One moment, uh, I'll put the body here. So for example, okay, so in the head, I'll be putting the style now, closing the style. So after this one, for example, uh -huh, H1 again, color, it's still blue, then text decoration, it's still underlined. Okay, there we go. So I'll be putting here um, H1 student registration form there then h1 so for this one all i need to do with this for example i'll be inserting a p student uh, student complete name so i'll be inserting the php part here there we go so basically by the use of this one it calls the value from the back end Okay, so I'll be closing the P. One moment. Okay, and aside from that, um, I'll be using the P here. So the P, the color of the P will be, uh, no, I will not be changing the color of the P, but, okay, I'll be creating another A. So the A, be color red save it so I'll be putting a here and I'll be closing the a here there there okay let me save it let me go back to the main server or sorry the local host so is uh, sorry what is the file name again registration form here, registration form. So for example, Fernand Bernardes, then hit enter. There you go. So student complete name, it's Fernand Bernardes. There you go. Okay, that is the part where I use the, um, the post method. How about for the get method? For the get method, um, actually, we're doing the same process but all we need to do is just to use the get again the get uh, will be discussed in our uh, it will be discussed here okay so if we will talk about the get method get method by the way class it's it's unsecured method because it displays all information on the address bar or the url so basically, if you will use a get method here, it will show the address bar. It will show, um, uh, mora siya gilantad niya ang imuhang, um, ang imong information, there is a URL sa imong address bar. Okay? So, and also, by default, method, it's get method. Using get method, limited data, or actually sends and get method is faster way to send the data but again it really depends on what specific um, application you're trying to develop okay so still the same um, still the same process just like what we did all you need to do is just to change the get uh, to just to change the method from post earlier going to get then of course, we need to change this one to get. Also, this one to get. Okay, there. Let me go back to the local host registration form. If you will click for, uh, if you will type in Fernand Bernardes. There. So, you've noticed, guys, that the F name, which is Fernand, then the last name, which is Bernardes, was actually displayed in the URL. That's why it's really unsafe. Okay?